Hello, I am going to, in this video, um, brag about my mom a little bit and show you a trick to get around a common problem when linking multiple slides in a Bitmoji classroom. So this is my mom's classroom. She's been a kindergarten teacher for over 30 years and she watched my webinar and then created her own Bitmoji classroom. We came up together with the idea of putting these yellow boxes around the links in her classroom so that the kids would know where to click in order to find the videos. This classroom is meant to be her center, so she has uh, letters, numbers, and a read aloud. And then she is also um, linking to various other books on her bookshelf each week. So we are working now to add a recess room. We're gonna add games and things in there for their break time. Um, but when we go to present mode, she's going to use um, present to the web or publish to the web to do this. We can click on the um, outside links, no problem. And then we can go back to the classroom but if we accidentally click where a link isn't, it advances to the next slide and we don't want that. Um, our link to go back to class works, our link to recess works, but if a student accidentally um, clicks you know, on one of these targets, it's gonna go to the slide above ahead and we don't want that. So unfortunately, the master view slide doesn't fix this issue. So we need to put one more transparent box on each slide. So I am going to go to shape, rectangle, and I'm going to put one big box over the entire slide here. I'm going to go to the fill color and make it transparent. I'm going to leave a border on it just for now so you can see it, what I'm doing. Um, I'm actually, I'm gonna make that a little bit thicker so you can see this box while I'm working, but then we're gonna make it transparent at the end. We're gonna do this box that is over the entire slide now. You are going to highlight it and insert a link, and you are going to link it to the slide itself. So by that, I mean you're going to drop down on slides to this presentation. And because I'm working in slide one, I'm going to link it to slide one and apply. So now when we go to present mode, if I click anywhere on the slide, it won't move because the slideshow is actually bringing it right back to where it is. So that's step one. The next step is bringing all the links that I want to actually work to the front. So I am going to move this to the side for now. And then one by one, I'm going to bring this to the front. So I'm going right click on each link, order, bring to front. Right click, order, bring to front, click order, bring to front, and then the recess one, which I've linked to slide two, right click, order, bring to front. Okay, so now I'm gonna move my box back. And now my box is linked everywhere except for the links I want it to work. So I'm going to turn it completely transparent. There we go. And now when I go back to present mode, I can go to slide two, no problem, but I can't go anywhere else. So you unfortunately do have to repeat that on each slide, but that is how you get around having your slides advance to the next slide um, in present mode, even if they're hidden, unfortunately. I hope that helps. Um, if it does, like this video and subscribe to my channel.